All right, what is up guys? We're back here with another video. We got my E36 here, the yellow one. I'm having a transmission issue where the transmission, the shifter is not like releasing or whatever you call it. So like when I'm driving and I go in gear, I can't like get out of gear. So I brought a different clutch instead of running the eBay clutch and I'm about to change it right now. So, so far, what do we have? Two sides. <laughs> we got the drive shaft off. Transmission is about to come out. I'm about to take care of the tie rod while you get crushed by the tread. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're just changing the rear main seal. We're about to put the new clutch on. As you can see from the rear main seal leaking, there's a lot of oil everywhere. We're gonna clean that up on a different day because it's mad cold. And I definitely gotta change the valve cover gasket. Yeah, we're almost done. So I didn't notice, but I'm guessing this was broken all along and this could have been, could have been the cause towards why my clutch was acting very weird. All right, we got the clutch on. I got a tilting clutch. This is not a twin. It is not a triple. It is a single disc. That's what we are working with. That's what I can afford. So yeah, we're about to put the transmission back on the car and hope for the best. on the car is moving again the clutch is pretty strong in a weird way i guess you could say like first gear is like it's weird to get out of first gear and like it bogs back and forth a lot like when you're going really slow so that's like pretty annoying but it is like a race clutch so that's what like you expect we also did get the the tire right on sean put it on for me we did an eye alignment until we can bring it to the alignment shop we also got the new radiator on as well we switched the fan from being faced up here because it was hidden on this right here. So because the fan hit this, it fucked up the radiator. And then, so we ended up putting the fan back in its normal spot. It's no longer touching anything all as well. We let the system. We also changed the valve cover because the last valve cover had a crack right here. So no more leaking valve cover. So yeah, as of right now, car is pretty good it is very loud so we're trying to get one of my homies to do an exhaust for me hopefully i'll be doing that in the next few days and then i'll get an alignment and maybe get the car registered if it will pass inspection we'll see okay so in the last video you may have noticed that i've gotten rid of both the bright seats in this car i got a car sr3 confetti i got this for 400 dollars. it is pretty ripped up as you can tell i'm also gonna get another recaro sr3 or sr2 for the passenger seat i am tired of bucket seats right now i am tired of not being able to lean back you can't be comfortable long trips are very annoying so yeah i'm getting rid of that i got rid of the bucket seats no more bucket seats we're gonna go reclinable for now i don't plan on tracking this car so yeah no bucket seats regular seat belts and no cage for now so yeah and i don't know if i told you guys but i don't have a gas pedal so i will be welding on the bracket as you can see the old bracket is gone don't mind my ashy fingers but yeah that can probably be another reason why the car feels very boggy as well when i am on the gas pedal and in first gear, going really slow. So yeah, we will be 
get a nut fix and I'm gonna change the carpet. I'm gonna take, Kyle has a carpet that's black and I'm gonna take that carpet and put it in this car when I fix the bracket. And then this carpet will go in the green car because the green car has a gray carpet and we dyed it, but like, it's like the dye is not stained. So as you can see, the color is uplift and then it's going back to the gray, which is no good. We don't want that. It's pretty bad. Also, this is the bracket that I'm talking about. Basically, the gas pedal would sit down here. It clips into these holes. And then the other part would pretty much slide into this right here. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna attempt to weld this in there, cut that one out. I'm probably going to get rid of all the sound then and put new sound then in and, and pour 15 the whole floor because if that's rusty the whole floor is probably looking crazy as well and for the the door panels i did find another side that matches this one over here on ebay well i found the set for like one something so i think i'm just gonna get that set and just have that one as a backup um i don't know if you guys ever watched any of the previous videos but that side did catch on fire when the body guy was welding up some rust back there so that's why i don't have that anymore and then this passenger side i do have but the previous owner put a big speaker in it so like he cut the stock the stock area of where the small speaker would be at so that's why that isn't there anymore i am looking at some carbon fiber ones i will show you guys a picture in a second of how those look and then i'll just run the carbon fiber ones in the front and the two oem ones in the back since it is very difficult to get some good front door cards if you guys own an E36. I'm pretty sure you know what it's like trying to get good door cards and what it's like having door cards that fall off every second of your life. All right, so this is the door card that I'm talking about. They sell it in the UK, it's about $300. So I just dropped the car off. In the next video, we'll be explaining the downpipe, um, showing how he welds it and everything like that.